In Senegal, a leading opposition figure has been arrested on murder charges following a deadly clash at a political rally. Barthelemy Diaz is a youth party leader and a district mayor in Dakar. The incident comes as civil rights groups and political opposition leaders have been targeted with violence in the lead-up to a presidential election in February 2012. One of those who has been threatened and attacked is a l i o u n Tin, head of the group African Assembly for the Defense of Human Rights. In an interview with FSRN, he said his criticism of the government has put his life in danger. Last June, he was hospitalized after being beaten by men associated with the ruling party in an attack that groups, including Human Rights Watch, condemned. He described another recent attack on activists in the country. People were coming with uh, uh, weapons, with uh, uh, sticks, to try to, uh, uh, to attack them. And it's, I think, A very dangerous game in Senegal actually. Senegal's current president, a b d u l e Wad, is seeking a third term in elections scheduled for February 2012. Ali Untin says his candidacy is illegal under Senegalese law, which limits presidents to a five-year term that can be renewed only once. The president has sought changes to the constitution to allow his continued rule. Uh, we are very, very determined to uh, uh, combat the violation of the Constitution by uh, the President of the Republic. It is our, our determination uh, and uh, our uh, leadership on this, uh, this uh, struggle that makes us a uh, uh, target. by the Senegalese authorities and all the uh, political that are with the presidential, uh, uh, they are allies of the presidential of the Republic of Senegal. In July, thousands filled the streets of Dakar to protest President Wad. The action led to arrests and detentions. Amnesty International has called on authorities to end harassment or discrimination on any person expressing a dissenting political opinion.